All right, so this is a simple KML file. And I think the idea is that you want the user to click on a URL and it just flies you to like the capital. So you want to do this, right? So just click here and then it'll fly you to that position. But you don't want the user to actually open up the app. They'll still have to have an app, Google Earth on the phone, but they won't have to open it up. And then they don't have to worry about the browser part at all. And then maybe have a second point or a third point or a tenth point or whatever. And we just fly you over that position. All from a URL. I think that's what I got. Uh, the network link, I could you can show the data, but you can't really fly to it. Um, but you can, if you just use the KML um, itself and point to it, you should be able to do it. So here's the KML itself, and it was made on Google Earth Pro. Um, and I just had to add it, add it a couple of things to it. So here's the capital, the place mark for the capital. And what I added here was the ID of one, because I need an ID to point to, to reference. And then here's the 360 bridge, and I gave it an ID of two. So I just opened up the KML on a text editor and added ID equals, and then in quotations, put whatever the ID is. Well, the only other thing I changed was the style URL. I just wanted to have simple names. Um, but everything else was pretty much is all just made from Google Earth Pro. Put the link in there, captured the snapshot view, and kind of that's how it worked. This KML is here in this uh, Git repository and I'll I, that I linked to you. And the reason why it's in this Git repository is because I need to have a URL that ends in .kml. So if you have your own uh, host, you can just put it there. Um, I do have my own host, but I just was going to use Git to make it easier for everybody to get to the actual information. Um, and I clicked the raw, and I'm just going to use this URL because it works. Um, so this is the exact same thing, just in that Git repository. I'm going to use this URL to reference. Here's my project. Um, so I went ahead and just new project, create project in Google Drive. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new feature. And the reason why I'm using a project is because that's the direct URL I'm going to give. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a click event to click to the actual KML. So add a full screen. And this first place I want to go to is the Texas capital. And if I want to give a background color, I will. Um, but really, I'm going to switch to HTML anyways, because I'm going to put in uh, a different little HTML. So this template was also on the Git. And you can see what happened was, it's, all it is is one link. And there's that Git repository. And then I added this hashtag one. So place, place mark one, semicolon blue and fly two. And I went ahead, and this is just simple HTML, right? Um, click the link if it didn't actually automatically fly there. All right, so that's the only thing that you'll see in the body. And then the script itself is an onload script. So when Windows loads, grab this link and click it. But wait two seconds. So there's a set timeout of two seconds to click the link. And the reason why I set the timeout is because I need to grab a URL. So just go ahead and take this, come over here and replace that HTML, there we go, and then when I hit preview, I'm going to come up here once the URL changes and I'm going to grab that URL. So preview, see how it changed, you have two seconds to copy that, and then it loaded that KML and it went ahead and flew me over to the capital. So if I go back to my table of contents from before, my project was from before, this was not there, Austin Tour was not there, this was there, but not the KML. So it loaded the KML and it flew me to place mark one. Go ahead and delete that. I'll show you what it looks like with that URL that I grabbed. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just put it right here for now so I don't lose it. Um, but if I click on it, it's going to open up Google Earth on, I test on Android, I don't have an iPhone, so I don't know about iPhone, but if you click on it, it'll open up straight to that, wait two seconds, 
and then it'll fly you to that location. Once you grab the URL, you could probably edit it and set the time out to like half a second or something like that. But you know, that's neither here nor there. Cool. So again, that's the KML. Remember I trashed it earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and add a new feature. So new feature, full screen. And this one's going to be the 360 bridge here in Austin. Give it a different color just for fun. And then my template, all I'm going to change is I'm not going to the first place marker, I'm going to the second one. Remember the ID, 360 bridge has an ID of two. So that's what I'm referencing. Nothing else changes. Just go ahead and grab this. Place that, give it a second to save. And then I'm going to do the same thing. When I hit the preview, I'm going to go grab this URL. Okay, I have two seconds to do it. There you go. And it's going to send me over to the 360 bridge. I'm going to go ahead and add this over to here for right now. Um, cool. Trash this. Delete. Right. I've already shared the project link. That's why I'm, um, or you need to make sure you share your project link before you share it with anybody else. Um, it'll allow you to open it, but again, you just have to share and then anyone with the link can view. And then once you do that, you can use either of these links and then go to another window. So this will be the Texas Capitol, so I'm on my other account. And again, I've shared that project and you want the link. And it'll open up Google Earth. And then it'll open up that full screen. Wait two seconds. And it'll fly me straight to that area. And again, you can do that with the other one. It works just as well. Um, bandwidth's a little slow. Uh, probably because I'm doing a lot of stuff right now. Um, but that's pretty much, I think, what you're asking for um, as far as being able to click a link and then just share that link and then go straight, that person goes straight to that. And if they want to, they could explore, again, the rest of the KML because the KML got loaded. Um, you were just helping point uh, the initial load using your project file. So I hope that helps.